Welcome back to Otaku No Video, as always, thank you very much for joining me, where today I'm going to talk about anime itself, anime as a medium as distinct from other animation mediums. This does get into dicey territory about what constitutes a medium, but we're going to push that aside for now and focus on hand-drawn animation. Hand-drawn animation is as distinct from computer-generated animation. So hand-drawn animation is that which is drawn by hand in a flat plane and then displayed multiple times per second to show you an animated work. As far as I'm concerned, there are three main animation visual styles or mediums. There is Western Disney-style animation, limited animation and anime. Broadly speaking, Disney animation favors movement, limited animation favors the script, while anime favors the still image. What do I mean by that? Well, Disney animation has this basically law that says that personality is expressed through motion. You'll see this a lot in, uh, well, look at Beauty and the Beast, for example, how Belle moves versus how the Beast moves. They have their specific style of movement, and those express the character's personality through how they move. Limited animation understands that the animation itself is all part of the package of the story and the art and everything else going on. So the smoothness or realism of the animation is not nearly as important as just getting the story put onto the screen. This is why limited animation often has um, heads that are moving separately than the bodies, and there's a lot of cheap animation tricks. Anime, on the other hand, grew up under very different pressures, and so it favors dramatic still images as opposed to uh, a lot of time spent on animation. Now, obviously, anime does have animation, and it tries to avoid limited animation except when it comes to lip flaps. But anime does try to make individual images stand out as opposed to trying to convey uh, emotion and expression entirely through movement. There are many other elements to anime's particular visual style that makes it distinctive. For example, uh, the use of sweat drops and anchor crosses and things along those lines. Um, as well as particular visual cliches and uh, uh, how different characters uh, move and do the, you know, the anime finger point and stuff like that. But anime tends to come back to the striking single visual image, which is then supported by the animation around it. When you think back to those moments in anime that stick in your mind, you're often thinking about big still images. If you want more on this, check out The Anime Machine by Thomas Lamar. It's an academic book that goes into a lot of detail about what makes anime distinctive as a visual style and, practically speaking, a different medium than Disney style or limited animation. And that's it, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions about animation, feel free to leave them in the comments. See you next time.